everyone, I'm doing a tutorial on Desmos, specifically Desmos tables. So before you even get here, you need to have Googled Desmos. Uh, and then there is a beautiful math tab you're going to click on. And that's going to take you to the graphing calculator. So if you don't see this screen right now, you've done something horribly wrong, go back, try again. Okay. Once you see this screen, though, with the graph and the sidebar, you're going to go over to this plus in the corner. It says add item. Click on it. And then go down to table. Click on table. And this adds a table. Um, now, in many things that we do with tables, we are also going to be required to graph said tables. So once you've filled out the table, you can type it into here. And as you see, if I type in the coordinate 1, 2, 1, 2 pops up on my graph. Okay. Pretty nice and simple. Pretty easy. Uh, you can also, let's put a couple more in here. Let's do 2, 3. And let's do 3, 4. Why, you ask? I don't know. Making them up. You can also have Desmos connect the line, the dots for you, uh, assuming that makes sense with the problem you're doing it on. And you do that by holding down on this four dots right here, and then you're going to select lines. And all that will do is it will connect all your dots, and you can see if that makes sense. For instance, I have them all connected. If I did three zero, does it make sense to have a line if it was going down? Not really. That's more of a scatter plot terrain, which we'll talk about later this year, or perhaps you're in chapter eight. We're talking about that now, but that is how you do that. So one more time, table, hold on this and select lines. Okay. And that's it. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the lesson.